Um, I, I thought that uh, the biggest thing that I think we did this spring was uh, improve, and I think that's what you, ultimately that's what you want to do in the off season. Um, I know that the first couple of practices when we came out, if anybody came out and saw us, they were probably going, "Ooh, man, this is a rough bunch." Uh, and we knew it was going to be like that, especially offensively. Uh, you got new terminology up front, you know, with, with uh, Coach Hamilton and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we, we, we were trying some different things on defense. Uh, but I, I, I commend the coaching staff for kind of um, limiting the schemes of everything uh, and getting better at the fundamentals. And I thought that that's the biggest thing that we did over the spring was we, we condensed some of the schemes and some of the install. We weren't as far along as we normally would be. Um, especially from a defensive side when you only lost three players. Uh, we, we held back on the schemes and held back on the install and really got good at fundamentals. And I think uh, that's the biggest thing I'm happy about is just the improvement that we had over the course of spring. Questions? Who's your quarterback going into the, uh, into the fall camp? Do you know yet? Uh, who's my quarterback going into <laughs> fall camp? I got five of them. I, I'll say this about the quarterback battle, okay? Uh, I've got the best five collectively I've ever had since I've been here, uh, collectively. All of them can go out there and, uh, and, and they're not going to lose you a game, okay? Uh, the trick to it is I've got to find the one. Um, I've got to find the one that's consistent on a day-to-day -day basis, on a practice-to-practice -practice basis, um, and I've got to find the one that can win you the game. And uh, so we're going to keep that competition open moving into fall camp. Really like where we were headed with those guys, uh, especially there at the end of spring. I really thought those guys got better. Um, and, uh, you know, I, shoot, you know, we, we call it the fastest Friday in Kentucky. Everybody asked me why we just ran 98 plays in the span of uh, an hour and 42 minutes, plus did special teams, plus did all of the games for the fans and the, uh, and the Greek organizations. And uh, hats off to those guys. I mean, they were awesome today. We dressed them up in fat suits and let them run into one. It was a heck of a time. I had a good time. I don't know if anybody else did. Don't really care because I had a blast, um, and, and it was a lot of fun. So, uh, But uh, overall, uh, really happy out of that quarterback group. Really happy. something you're looking to uh, incorporate more as far as the students and everything go? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, uh, I would have done it last year. You know, I just didn't have enough bodies. We were only, we, I think we only had like 52 players uh, last spring. And, uh, but uh, really just I want to get everybody up. I mean, this was awesome, man. I, you know, you look up in the, in the stand, especially with the weather. Um, I was over, we had junior day today. I think we had uh, 53 juniors on campus today, plus their parents. So probably 90 to 100 people there. Uh, we had little kids, we had jumpy houses out here, and, and uh, my little girls, I saw them the whole time, they stayed on those the whole time. Uh, you know, and then we had uh, all of all of our fans around town and we're up in the state. It was just an awesome event. Uh, had a lot of fun doing it, and uh, we're going we're gonna to try to do this every year. Coach, I keep hearing a lot of buzz on the defense. You keep talking about three guys that, you know, didn't return, and you've got a lot of guys coming back. And I'm hearing that even on the sidelines from some of your staff. How good can this defense be going into the fall? I don't know. You know, we'll see. I know those guys do a great job coaching them up. Uh, I think the biggest thing is Boone's done an incredible job of, of uh, holding back. Like I said, holding back some of the – not getting ahead of himself. Because the easiest thing to do as a coach is when you got that many people back, you just want to go dump, dump, think, hey, let's try this, let's try this, let's try this. And all of a sudden you, you look back and you're like, man, we, we don't know how to tackle, we don't know how to shed blocks. And I think that uh, that's the biggest thing they've uh, emphasized and will continue to emphasize going into camp. Um, but they can they, they run around, we're a lot faster. Um, as a team defense, we're a lot faster. Um, and, uh, and we tackle the ball really, really well. And we put them in those situations a lot this spring. We, we did a lot of live action. Um, and even when we were in thud practices, we made sure that they were thud up uh, and, and it would have been a practice or else we counted it as a miss. Who's going to help Jordan Gandy on a wide out? Man, that's, uh, that's, that's a good question, man. You got some, you got some good ones down there, yeah. <laughs> um, that's a good question. You know, I think y'all saw DJ, you know, Demetri Johnson. I had him in a red shirt, and, and uh, that was not because of injury. I put him and Gandy both in red shirts because I don't want – uh, I didn't want any extra banging on them. They've already showed me what they can do. So I think uh, we moved DJ out to wide receiver. He's not at running back anymore. Let him get out there in space because uh, he's probably one of the most dynamic kids we have on the team out in space. So I think he's going to help. Um, and then uh, we've got some of the guys that we had last year, you know, some of the young guys that are, it'll be their chance, like Jordan Gandy. You know, uh, they've got to turn into the Jordan Gandys where they have a year and they have two years and all of a sudden it's their chance to step up. And uh, really excited about that crew. And then I think we did a really good job of adding some depth to that position uh, for guys who will be here in the, in the fall. How was spring for you? Uh, just knowing that last year this didn't really get to be as fun of a moment for you guys. Spring, spring was very encouraging. It was a good, 
uh, just very encouraging, good for all the O-linemen, uh, get unity, and with the new O-line coach, we're building momentum heading into the summer. How, uh, how exciting was it just to have a spring game in general? I know last year, one here. <laughs> very exciting. We almost had problems with the weather, but we got it in there, and it was a lot of fun. How much improved is this defense from last year to right now? Oh man, this defense has made tremendous strides. Like, um, as far as like the chemistry, like not even the X and O's, just the chemistry, man. We're like, we're, we're definitely, uh, you know, working together. Uh, you know, we, we returned uh, well, pretty much everybody. And then, you know, we added, uh, you know, people like uh, Kenny Wooten, who makes a big difference on our defense. I think um, as far as gelling together and uh, being on one accord, we are um, tremendously better this year than we were last year. How much fun was this tonight? Oh, it was it was uh it was real fun. I mean, uh, anytime you know you can get you know the the community involved, you know, with the football program, it's always a great time. All right, well, let's just talk talk about what happened here tonight. How much fun was that? Having your fellow students out, you know, trying to catch passes and sumo wrestling and the whole bit. <laughs> oh man, it was a fun experience to be able to see uh, students come out here and have a good time while we end spring ball off with a little bit of competition. You know. It was pretty. It was a pretty cool experience. I mean, that stuff was about as competitive as the game. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's not. It's not easy to do some of that stuff that they, that they were asked to do. So, being able to catch the ball off a jug machine and then one on ones, board drills. It's, it's not. It's not easy. So they got to get a little taste of what we do on an everyday basis. Uh -huh. Yep. Was it fun to watch that just from a from oh, a yeah. player perspective? Get to yeah. take a break from it spring was, camp. Yeah, it was definitely fun to watch them out here, and they really have fun doing it too. So that was that was that was the best part about it. Even though you have the red shirt, what did you learn this spring about kind of the team and, and from an offensive and a defensive perspective? What did you learn the most? I feel like what I learned was we got some work that we can do, but I mean we got plenty of time for it. We got all we just had spring. We got all summer going into the season. So I feel like we got plenty of time to get better, plenty of time to work at everything that we need to. Uh, Coach said that uh, it's the best five collective quarterbacks he's, he's ever had. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to name your favorite, but uh, are you comfortable with any anyone that, that kind of comes out to be the front runner? Yeah, I'm comfortable with anyone. They all throwing the ball out there. I mean, even with from Cam being a senior to all the way from to Preston Rice being a freshman. I mean, we got all of them can throw the ball, and all of them can make stuff happen, and I like it. That'll be an interesting competition in the yeah, fall, though. Yeah, it will. It's gonna be it's <laughs> gonna be a very good one. Yeah.